Be your own revolution. That's what a team discovers on a journey to find out who she is in the world. Joining us is National Book Award finalist Evie Zavoy to share more about Nigeria Jones. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Good morning. Yes. Let's just dive right in with mm -hmm. the subject of this book. What is Nigeria Jones about, Evie? Well, you can tell by the name, I wanted to say something about what it means to be African American in this country for a 16 year old girl. Nigeria Jones is homeschooled and raised to believe certain things about her history. She knows a lot more than the average kid, but when her mother disappears, she's forced to step out into the world in a way that she never had to before. She has to go to school and meet new people and meet new friends and question everything about the way she was raised. Mm. Yeah. Where did your inspiration for this book come from? Well, I was born in Haiti, and as you know, Haiti had a revolution, and it was the first free black republic in the world. And I wanted to say something about revolutions. There was the Haitian Revolution, the American Revolution, and the French Revolution. But what about personal revolutions? What about a 16-year-old girl dismantling everything that she was raised to believe to kind of chart her own path and chart her own journey? So it's a metaphor for the battles that we have to fight, both, both personal and communal. Sure. Yeah. And it's Teacher Appreciation Week, and we know that you're an educator, so thank you for all you do for students. Would you say that you draw from your experience as an educator? Do you put those experiences into some of your stories? Absolutely. Um, as a writer in resident, I was a writer in residence in New York City public schools. Our young people are forced to read the classics. They should be reading the classics. And they have to put in so much critical thought and understanding into those books. But what about the books that they read for pleasure? Those books should have the same level of rigor and critical thought. So I wanted to write a really fun read, but at the same time, a book that makes young people think. Sure. Yeah. Evie, we're wondering, what's something you would tell your 17-year-old self, your, your teenage self? Oh, wow. I wrote this book for my 16, 17-year-old <laughs> self. I did not do, yeah, absolutely. I did not do well in my classes because a lot of the books that we had to read did not interest me. But I loved the level of thinking that these books involved. So I loved reading big books and reading books about history. So Nigeria Jones is just that. I wanted my 16 and 17 year old self to really think about how came, things came to be. I wanted to question the things that I was raised with and I wanted to find a way to just go out into the world um, with my own thoughts, with my own ideas. Yeah, that's great. I'm inspired that. mm -hmm. hearing your story. Thanks for sharing with us. And again, thanks for the work you do as an educator. We appreciate you and your time. Yes, thank you so much. Great point about, you know, kiddos, of course, we should read the classics for sure, but then also read books that um, are also fun. And, of course, kids love to read books that are reflective of themselves. Yeah, of and course. So I love that. I have no idea what I would tell my teenage self. I was thinking. Probably That's a great question. Probably the main message I would just tell my teenage self is, is keep going. Keep going. It's going to get going. better. It's you, going to get better. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it will, but it absolutely, absolutely does. I couldn't yeah. agree more. You can